Welcome to The Update, Soul Therapy's weekly news on Korean hip-hop and r and I'm your host, Liv. As we mentioned in last week's update, Rose the Penny is signed with Amoeba Culture and has changed his name to Ha. This week he explained why, as he felt lots of people were mispronouncing his name and that Ha was almost impossible to get wrong, and because he uses the exclamation a lot in his raps. We finally got more insight into the process of yu gi oh signing to AOMG. In an interview with Elle, yu gi revealed that it was his friend and fellow dancer Monster Wu who first referred him to AOMG when he was considering options for his future, and that he met with DJ Pumpkin first to discuss joining the AOMG team. Fans are really eager to hear the kind of music he'll be releasing under AOMG, and Jay Park is being sure to tease us as he posted another story about Cha Cha Malone and yu gi in the studio. Rapper Noel is being investigated yet again, this time for an assault after he bumped his arm onto the window of a car and spat in the driver's face when he confronted him about it. Noel claimed that he was also assaulted in the argument and the police are planning to investigate further as Noel is still under probation due to his past DUI case. Spotify just entered the Korean market a couple of weeks ago and it seems like they're already running through some issues as Kakao M, one of the biggest music distributors in Korea, has decided to take off their artist catalogue from the platforms because of a disagreement. Kakao M is owned by Melon and has its own streaming platform and it looks like they're not too happy about the streaming leader entering the market and potentially taking shares. Nevertheless, fans are no longer able to access their favorite artist's music and Tableau from Epic High has tweeted, apparently a disagreement between our distributor Kakao M and Spotify has made our new album Epic High is Here unavailable globally against our will. Regardless of who is at fault, why is it always the artists and fans who suffer when businesses place greed over art? Labels and artists affected include Deja Vu, IMJMWDP, Epic High, Code Kunst, Groovy Room, DPR Live, Gwangil Joe, and many more. We don't know how this is going to unfold, but for now, RIP to our playlists. R&B singer 12's contract with Young and Rich came to an end this month and he's leaving the label. He's been with Young and Rich since 2019 and released his first full-length album with them and an EP. The fact that he didn't renew may not come as a surprise as 12 is the only R&B artist under the label and they seem to be taking a different artistic direction and Yu Zian also left the label earlier this year. Young and Rich said that they wish him the best with his career going forward. On the most recent episode of Hip Hop Players Tomorrow's Hangover, Jay Park talked about the Korean Hip Hop Awards and said that he thinks it should be broadcasted on TV and that he's sure sponsors would support if enough people showed interest. As always, Jay Park wants the community and its artists to get the recognition they deserve. On the same episode, Swing spilled some tea about Show Me The Money 9, on which he was a contestant. As we talked about in our recaps, a big storyline in the competition was the feud between him and Cox Billy. Swing said he was prepared, but that he thinks that because of his funny personality, Cox Billy, now referred to as Jay Kyun, didn't take him seriously and made the feud too personal and disrespectful, taking it outside of the competition to Instagram, and that Jay Kyun even came to Swings' coffee shop to antagonize him while he was in a business meeting. He shared a lot of inside info about his relationships with other artists and Show Me The Money, so we suggest you check out the whole video. After comments about him posting more ads than he does release music, Reddy has responded on Instagram saying that he is taking his time to make music and take care of his mental health and that he'll be releasing a single in April and an album around May. This has been The Update. Don't forget to like, share and comment telling us what you thought about this week's news. I'll see you next week.